Hey, welcome back to the scale model experiment. This week, I'm going to do some resin calibrating. Now, if you're new to resin printing or you get a new resin and you don't know what the setting should be because not all resins are the same, I'm going to be using Fun Creek Hall 3D Resin Red. It's their standard resin and um, I don't know what the settings are. So don't be an idiot like me and just use your old settings and then be disappointed. We're going to calibrate the resin to make sure that the prints are the best that they can be. And uh, this is the way you do it. For the first test that I'm going to be running, these are a series of three boxes. This box is going to fit inside of this box. This box is going to fit inside of this box. If all three fit together, then I'm dimensionally perfect. It also has some, um, some strength tests here. If you can print these, these support lines, then uh, it's all good. So this is just a basic test to test the printer. And I mean, to test the resin to make sure that uh, you have the settings correct. I'm going to be using a 0 0.030 layer height, bottom layer 5, exposure time 2.4, exposure bottom exposure time 35 seconds, 8 transition layers. I am going to put a 3 second rest um, right after retract. And what this is, the little motion thing here says, is it's going to stay here at the bottom and let the resin settle before it starts printing. I think that might be one of my problems is that um, I'm printing before the resin quits moving around. Lifting distance, three plus an additional three. Um, bottom lift speed, 45, which is a slow pull, and then going to a fast. So this, uh, it goes 45, millimeters per second or millimeters per minute for the first little bit when it pulls it off of the thing and then quickly moves up because there's no reason to take your time after that. Same with the lifting speed, um, bottom retract speed, which is going in the opposite direction. We're going to go fast and then slow down to 60, fast, go down to 60. I'm going to do without. For this test, I'm going to be using the Elegoo Saturn 3 Ultra. I put a brand new FEP in yesterday and uh, she's ready to go. So we're going to take our resin, shake it up real good, and pour it in the vat. Now, it doesn't take a lot, so I'm not going to put a lot of resin in here. But before printing, I'm going to turn on the heater for about a half an hour. I'm going to get the resin nice and warm for the test. Okay, it's been a half an hour. We're at 25 degrees Celsius. So we'll go to print. Uh, USB. This is test one and print. And we'll check it in an hour and 18 minutes. So all right, it looks like we got something, which is good, something printed. And we're going to see just how hard it is to get off the build plate. And that'll tell me if my um, bottom exposure is too long or not. It's a little tough. There it goes. All right. So it, not too bad. All right. Let's look at the results. Very, very, very crisp. Um, all of the little lines 
printed. A, B, C, D, and even S. See those thin, thin lines? Looking at our squares, they look pretty square to me. My camera can barely pick these up, but the, uh, see the holes? Um, looks like my raft printed pretty good. All right, so let's test the boxes. Okay, so I break this one off, and this one should fit inside of this box. It's kind of tight. should fit easily. So I'm, I'm gonna look into the instructions and see what I need to change. And let's check this one into this one. Yeah, that's tight too. So I may be overexposed just by a little bit, but um, it does fit. So I'm close. All right, so I got a failure. Number two, so I'm gonna try it one more time, and uh, maybe it was just a temperature problem or something. If it fails again, then I need to change something. And just for fun, I changed it to 2.1 and printed four different verifications. So then we'll see, we'll read all of them, and uh, I think we got a winner. Still kind of tough to get on. Probably change my bottom exposure just a little bit. This is at 2.1 seconds. Let's check the, the fit of the boxes. That one snapped off really easy. Much easier fit than that. Still a little bit of resistance, but it fit a lot easier than this one did. Let's see if we can see any differences in like the printed letters or anything. No, that all pretty much looks the same to me. Okay, let's do our tabletop foundry. So this should fit inside the cup. Easy. Okay. Let's pull our little sword out of here. And it should not fit in either one of these, but it should fit. Yeah. So 2.1 seconds is the ultimate. This is the success side. They have all those. And then on the failure side, we got two, two of five failures. So I think that's pretty good. Just for fun, we did the uh, little town one. It's, uh, I forget how you read this one. I do have four lines of posts. Got the little H on there. I do have posts up there. The steeple did print. And I think, yeah, there's a half moons on the side here. And then lastly, is this one. So 
So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 holes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 posts. Yeah, that's pretty good. And the uh, infinity meets well. And then these, I think the, these last ones didn't print so well here. But yeah, I think 2.1 seconds is good. And now we're just going to throw all this away. But it was a good exercise. Now that I have my exposure times dialed in, I'm going to put a whole plate of Bill Cunningham uh, Shark Nose Ferrari parts on a plate and run it overnight. We'll see in the morning what came out. So it looks like a little failure here. But the steering wheels printed, the body printed. So most of it printed. I'm I'm happy with this. I can reprint some of the other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let me wash the parts and uh, we'll take them off the tree. Wait a minute. I know you guys like to see this. Okay, let's take a look at these parts. So starting with the body, these uh, rivet holes printed really nice. The weld seam down the side. I did get a bit of uh, marking there, but that's because I painted it, I printed it straight up. So um, that's easily sanded off. Yeah, detail looks really good, nice and crisp. Got fine, fine detail in here. Especially with like the front suspension and whatnot. These Cunningham files are the best for uh, testing a printer out. Here's our cam cover. It's upside down. Yeah, very, very nice. I was less than careful in getting these carburetors off the uh, supports, so I crushed them. But uh, what is there? It's really nice detail. The uh, the block of tiny parts. Those are T fittings. Looks like I lost one of those. I can't explain to you how thin this steering wheel is. I'll have to reprint this because it uh, it messed up on the top there. 
but uh, yeah, very, very nice details. The seat has an engraved pattern, you can see it in there. And let's check how everything fits. So remember I, I changed the setting so that uh, things would fit really good. This is 2.1. So let's uh, slide this into the body. Oh yeah, that's nice and easy. Oh yeah, that's the way it's supposed to fit. And then the rear end Snips in through here. Like that. Nope. Upside down. Like that. And then this slides into here. Kind of like that. Yeah, kind of like like that. Um, seat fits in there like that. Yeah. So uh, I am. Uh, so yeah. I'm impressed with this resin. Um, it's it's pretty tough too. It's got a little bit of flex to it, which is good, just in case something doesn't fit right. Um, since this is a, a misprint, we'll we'll see how much it'll bend before it breaks. Oh, it just broke. So yeah, there's there's a little bit of flex to it before it breaks. Yeah, there's a lot of flex to this. And once it's cured, this pops right off. Yeah, it actually comes off the trees pretty easy, even though it's cured. Let's try these little T-fittings. Where did it go? Gone forever. <laughs> so in summary, um, the, first, the first test print that I did um, was at 2.4 seconds and this was tight to put in. I changed it to 2.1 seconds, got a much better fit for the test print, which then I printed the Ferrari and got great fitting results. Thank you for watching everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and watch more videos on my channel. Thanks. You still here? Go ahead and order yourself a t-shirt, hit the subscribe button, and watch the next video. Thanks everyone. Bye.